One name that is not as well known in the annals of Jaws history is Roger Castell, the artist who created the legendary image. Castell was a seasoned paperback and magazine illustrator working in New York, whose skills were increasingly in demand at the time, and the assignment was simply one among many. Oscar Disso said, have I got a great book for you. Uh, you'll love it. You can read it over the weekend. They felt the hardcover version wouldn't work on the paperback. I did a very rough sketch and, and they said, that's great, just make the shark realistic and bigger. Make him very much bigger. I had gone to the Museum of Natural History and I had my camera with me and I said, do you have a shark exhibit in the building? And she said, yes they do. But it was all down and they were refurbishing. They were uh, cleaning them. All the sharks were laying on easels, uh, their plaster, and uh, so I had my camera with me. I knew what position I wanted the shark in, and this is the great white that they had laying on an easel being, uh, I guess they were dusting it, and uh, that's what I worked from. The girl was uh, photographed in the studio in New York. She was a great model. I used her for a good housekeeping painting and asked if she would stay another half hour and just swim for this paperback. Uh, you know, told her Jaws. I don't think anyone knew what Jaws was then. But uh, she was swimming on a stool. Last summer, I was painting in the studio and my grandson Luke came in and he says, Grandpa, did you ever do a Mona Lisa? And he's uh, seven. And that really threw me. And I thought, and I said, I don't think I've done the Mona Lisa, Luke. And he said, well, the shark will just have to be your Mona Lisa. 